My name is Crystal Lora. I'm from Sarve College of Advanced Studies, Korea. My name is Maria Sajo. I'm a CMA finalist. My name is Pavin, Pavin Kejobi uh, from Geo Engineering College. My name is Nadeem Ahmed. I am from uh, Government Medical College, Tashu. I am Sri Hedia. I am from Q Collective Info Entertainment. Thank you all. Congratulations to all the teams selected for the grand finale. Your hard work, creativity and innovative ideas has propelled you to this prestigious stage of the competition. 
Best wishes as you prepare for the final challenge. Well done and good luck for the grand finale. Without further ado, I would like to pass over the mic to Mustin Sir to lead us through the further proceedings of the competition. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. So let's start with the quiz program. And uh, before going to the quiz, uh, let me talk something about the quiz. Uh, here, we know that uh, in the quiz, you can expect some questions, and uh, uh, always you can expect some answers also here. But more than a quiz, uh, more than winning in the quiz program, the quiz we consider it as an infotainment where we share some knowledge in some somewhat entertainment way. That is what the intention of conducting the quiz program. So who, who is getting prize or not, that is not an important thing in the quiz. And uh, we are not, I am not prolonging more about the quiz program at all. I am directly going to start the quiz and uh, I will explain what are the rules and regulations related to the quiz. So, uh, for the smooth conduct of the quiz, uh, I would like to name these teams as A, B, C, or else it will be difficult for running the quiz. So, this team will be considered as a team A, team B, team C, and team D. And uh, who is writing the score? Who is uh, counting the marks at all? I think you can sit uh, in this first one. Okay, uh, already you have introduced yourself, so I don't need to introduce it again. Uh, we can directly move to the queues. Actually in the queues you can expect four rounds. In the first three rounds, questions will be directly to you and you can say the answer. But in the last round, it is a little bit different. Uh, there, we are not expecting that you will be saying the answer, but you, can, you will get the uh, options to write. Okay. And for the first three rounds, you will get the chance for pounds also. Pounds means, uh, suppose, if the question is directly to you, that means, uh, in the first round, we will start from team A. Then if the question is directly to the team A, but others can use the option of pounds. That means if you know that, you can raise the hand. And after raising the hand, you have to show the answer. If the answer is wrong, then you will get negative 5 marks. Or else, 10 marks. And, sorry? Direct questions. Which is directly? Ah, direct question, 10 marks. Negative? Negative is fine. Is that a Sorry? No, 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 no. Not fine. And we will move in a bouncing order. That means, suppose the question is directly to team A. Suppose if they are not given the correct answer, then it will be more possible. Not given the answer, maybe C will be given the answer. Then C will be getting 10 marks. Okay, uh, whether it is passed or not, that is not a concern. Uh, mark this there. And next question will be asked to team D. That will be the order. That means it doesn't mean that second question always will be to team D. It's all right. Team D. And another thing is that first round we will start from team A, second round we will start from team D, and third round we will start from team A. Like that we will like it. So let's start with the first round. The question is directly to team a, but are they same problems? Here also some instructions are there, don't worry. It is simple and direct. Here you can expect very simple questions, but the answers may be a little bit powerful. That's all. All the questions are very simple, uh, which you may feel that whether it is that much standard to ask in a graduate level, you send out. 
But you can see there's an iceberg insertion for the first one. Okay. First question to team A. CEO of Microsoft. Actually, the question is to team A, but others can pause. Team D is pausing. Team B is pausing. Team Z also. Ten marks to team B. Ten marks to team C. And ten marks to team D. What is the answer? Team A. So what is the answer? You don't know. Okay. Anyway, all other teams have already given the right answer. So. Team D, C, D got 10 points. Uh, A doesn't have any. So, next question to Team B. The question is directly to Team B, but now there's 10 points. Yes. Which company owns the brand Lloyd? The question is directly to Team B, but the other teams, that means C, D, and A can pass. D is bouncing. Oh, I'll be fine. Anybody else is bouncing? No. Five marks negative to team B. Nobody else is bouncing. <laughs> So the question was directly to team P. Nobody is bouncing. So team P can say the answer. Havels is the right answer. 10 marks to team P. Next question. Third question is directly to team C. Because actually these are the right answer. So next question. But others will get the chance for problems. Yes. Who is the chairperson of city? That is the question. Actually the question directly to team C, but others can pause. B is promising. Okay. Anybody else is promising? Okay. So, team C, you can say the answer. The passing. Team D? Sorry. Wrong answer. Team A? Team B already said the answer. Okay. So, by this third question is over. And you properly. And in the quiz, uh, I don't have the practice of saying the answer. That means if you know the answer, you can say that I will tell whether it is right or not. Uh, if nobody is given the answer, then it is your duty to search it on the internet and find out. That is the uh, that is the importance of curiosity. So here in the quiz, we expect that you will have you will get some curiosity. That is the intention of the quiz. That is why I am not given the right answer. Others can search it on the internet and find out. So next question, uh, actually the question was to team C. So this time we will ask from the team D. Directly to team D, but others can promise. Who was the India's first finance minister? Actually the question is directly to team D, but others get the chance for promising. Team D is promising. What about team A and C? Everybody is promising? Team A and C? No. Team D is promising. <coughs> team B got 10 marks possible. <laughs> yes. Uh, directly it was to Team D. Okay. Right answer. Team D got 10 marks possible. By this we are finishing the first round.
Now let us see what is our score out of first one. Has 10 points and team A has 0. Okay, so shall we move to the next one? Actually, I made a reserve question that you can see here, but I am not going to ask it. Okay, this was a reserve question which I kept. If there is any mistake happening in the fourth question, that is it. Yes, we are moving to the next question, the next round, uh, that is uh, round. Round 2, fill the gaps. Here you can see uh, one or two sentences, and in between the sentences, there will be some gap that you have to fill. Or in a simple way, you can see that uh, fill the gaps or fill in the blanks like that. So we are going to the first question. At this time, as I already mentioned the initial time, the first question starts from team D. All other rules are same 10 marks for each question, and others can pause the toss. First question. The premier company was a four seat saloon manufactured in India from 1964 to dash. So, up to which year it was produced? That is my question. Actually, the question is to team A, uh, sorry, team D, but others can pause. Team B is pausing. What about A and Z? Anybody is pausing? No. Got five marks negative. Nobody is bouncing, so team D can do that. 2001. 2001 is the right answer. Team D got a ten. Business man, one of the dash co founders of Infosys. So, actually, oh my god, answer was there. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, question is, uh, we are deleting this question. We are going to the next question. Yes, I have a sub question. So, this one is not This question is to team C, actually. The question is, Dash is the founder of Fuji based Vista Creations, a popular underwear brand, the company which provides employment to women from underprivileged families, grow into a hunter crore company in the last year. Actually, the question is to team C, but are they Is it actually the name of the woman? Yes. Team B is pouncing. Anybody else is pouncing? Team D is pouncing? No. What about team C and, D, C and A? Uh, C, the question is directly with team C. Everybody is pouncing? Only team D? What? Team B got 10 points positive. So actually the question was directly to team C. So say the answer. Pass. Team A. You can guess there is no negative mark. No. Okay. Team D. Forget the name. Forget the name. I but it's Yeah. I thought Chelsea 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 That is right, but I can't give the point. Uh, team C already said pass. So by this. We are finishing the third question. We are moving to the next question. Again, 
Sheila which is the people. We start creations. Okay. We are going to the next question. Next question to team D. Actually the question was last time it was to team C. That is why we are starting with the team D. Yes. Al Jazeera, it is a TV news network founded by Sheikh Ahmad bin Khalifa Al Thani, a mayor of which country? That is my question. Actually, the question is that I will take B, but other same box. Team A is bouncing, Team C is bouncing. Team D is bouncing. D is bouncing. So A, C, D. All are bouncing, right? Okay. Team A got five marks negative. Team C got five marks negative. Team B. They got 10 marks positive. Actually, the question was directly to team B. So tell me the answer. Qatar. Qatar is the right answer. 10 marks to team B. We are going to the last question. In this round. And the question is directly to team A. Uh, I think it's a little confusion, but uh, Which company constructed the Statue of Unity? Which company constructed the Statue of Unity? Question is directly to team A, but are they sponsors? Team B is bouncing, D is bouncing. C is not bouncing. Okay. Yes, 10 marks to team B. <laughs> 10 marks to team B. Actually, the question was directly to team A. What is the answer? Pass. Team C. Pass. Okay. The answer is uh, Yes, Atlanta is the company which constructed the Statue of Unity, which is considered as uh, tallest in India. So we are moving to the next round. Uh, before we move into the next round, let us see what is the score. Team B with 45 points. Team C, 5 points. And Team A, negative 5. Okay. Okay, add the round to Lego. Round uh, 3, identify X. Here you can see a few sentences, uh, most probably a paragraph you can accept. In between the paragraph, uh, one next will be there, and you have to add. So, okay. it may be name or uh, institution's name, like that. So, first question actually to team A. So, as I already mentioned in the initial stage, straight route, we will start from team A. First question Ford's for our UK subsidiaries, Jaguar and Land Rover, occurred in 1989 and 2000, respectively, were sold to Indian automaker Tata Motors in X. This is Tata Motors in the company. That is my question. The question is directly to team A, but other teams can pause. Uh, which team is bouncing? Team B is bouncing. Anybody else is bouncing? Team C and D? D are you bouncing? No.
we, we got 10 marks for the team. Actually, the question is directly to team A, so you can say the answer. It is simply because no, we are not taking any initiative. Okay, sorry. 2008 is the right answer. 10 marks to team A. Okay, uh, the question, uh, last question to team B. Yes, you read this as it. It is a uh, question about an SUV. Team D is bouncing. Anybody else is bouncing? Anyway, you take time to read. Okay, hands on, hands on. Hope you have completed reading. Uh, actually, the question directly to team B, A, or C can pounce. Do you already pounce? Anybody is pouncing? You are pouncing? Pouncing, yes, sir. Team A is pouncing. What about team C? They are not pouncing. Team A with the negative 5 marks. Okay, fine. Team B with uh, 10 marks positive. Okay. D, 10 marks positive. A, 5 marks negative. C, did it happen with the box. Uh, the question was directly to team B. Yes, what is the answer? Jeep. Jeep is the right answer. Team B got 10 marks positive. Next question to team C. Direct question to team C. Are they saying Yes. Urjit Patel. The question is about when he resigned. In which year? Year is the question. Team D is bouncing. Fine. Thanks, Dom. Anybody else is uh, pouncing? Team A, B, you can pounce. So, the regular uh, when did he resign from his post? Team A, Team B. Team D with the 10 marks positive. Yes, actually the question was directly to team C. Yes, what is your answer? You can simply guess. The last time they guessed and they got the 10 marks. 2012 is the wrong answer. Uh, you already said the right answer. Team A, you can say any answer. Last time your guess was right. 2003, wrong answer. 2004. Again, wrong answer. So uh, the answer you can search it in the internet. Find out. Okay. We are moving to the next. We are going to do the next question, that is the last question in this round. Uh, the question is directly to team D, I think. So, yes, the Women's Premier League, also known as the XWPL. What does that X stands for? That is the question. Actually, the question is to team D. Uh, a, B, C can bounce. B is bouncing. Team A and 
सी उधर यार कौन से एम सी Team B got ten marks positive. Uh, the question was directed to Team D. Tell that Tata. Tata is the right answer. Now it is known as Tata WPM. In which year it was started? Anybody from the audience? Any idea? Actually, this time I was not able to ask any questions to the audience. Anybody from the audience can guess? Twenty? Twenty, twenty-three. Now it is happening. The second season is happening, I think. Okay. Uh, this was the last question in the third round. Uh, now let us see what is our question. Okay. Team B has a lead with ninety-five points. Team D with 75 points. Team C with 5 points. And Team A with 0 points. Okay. I have a reserve question. You can simply see that. Anybody know his answer? There is no points for this. 2019. 2019. Uh, what is that question? Uh, IMF. Uh, Managing Director and Economist, uh, Chris Lea. 2019 is the right answer. 2019 is the right answer. But there is no points for that. Okay, we are moving to the next round. Uh, identify the picture. That is the question. Uh, I think all of you can uh, see the screen perfectly, right? Uh, as I already mentioned the initial time. Uh, in this round, All questions are directly to all the people. There is no direct question or indirect. Okay. So here you can see a picture and I will ask what is that question. Anybody can answer, but you don't open your mouth, you can write it on me. Okay. After writing that, please raise the hand. I will come and look at the answer. If it is right, then you will get the points. That is a procedure. Negative is there. I will explain that. Then another thing is that in this round there will be five questions and all the questions we have different negative and different positive points. Okay. And positive points and negative points will be displayed in the screen itself. Negative points will be showcased in the red round box and positive points will be showcased in the green round box. Okay. You also must be vigilant, or else there may be some confusions. So we are going to the first question, and I already said this time there is no direct question. All teams are allowed to participate in the equal sense. Okay, there is no direct or indirect pouncing. So there is no relevance of pouncing. And you are not allowed to speak, you have to write it on. Okay, we are moving to the first question. Yes, as I already mentioned, the question is identify this person that you have to write. And here, two marks negative and four marks positive. Two marks negative and four marks positive. Who are attending this answer? Team D and Team D. Anybody else is attending? Only two marks negative. But if the answer is right, you will get in four marks positive. Team A and Z. Are not okay. Team B, four marks positive. <laughs> Team D, four marks positive. Shall I go to the next question? Yes, identify this advertisement. It was a very familiar advertisement actually. 
all are attending. Team A is attending, team B is attending, team D is attending. Here the negative mark is 4 and positive mark is 8. Okay, team A is attending, team B is attending, team D is attending. What about team Z? They are not attending. Team A got 8 mark positive. Okay. Team B got 8 mark positive. Okay, we are going to the next question, third question. Identify the logo. Team B is attending, team D is attending, team A and C. Team A and C. Okay, are attending in the area. B got 12 marks positive. Team D got 12 marks positive. Next question. Now, before moving to the next question, let us see what is our present position. Okay. After that, we will have two more questions. Uh, team B has a lead with 119 points. Team D has 99 points, Team C 5 points, Team A negative 4. Okay, we will have two more questions. Next question, identify this mask. Identify the mask. Oh yes. Not the company. This company is not identified. The mask is not identified. This company is not identified. Team D and Team D is on using the options. What about Team A and C? Yeah. If the answer is right, you will get 60 marks positive. Negative one to lower. Marks for the competition. We are going to the last question in this round. Uh, where you can explain the last question in the last question in this round. Where you can expect 20 marks positive and 10 marks negative. Okay. Last question. Yes. Identify this tagline. Which company's tagline it is? Identify the company out of this. Last question. Uh, 10 marks negative and 20 marks positive. Who uh, are attending? Team D, D, what about team A and C? Chumma attended the Andarium for the other people. Yes, I am all. Very familiar brand. Last question, I don't know what is the name for the car. I don't know how much it is. So, what do you say? I don't know what to tell them. No problem, actually. Saya ni kerja dengan close order tu, ada. Ada kerja objection tak? Ia. 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 Ia.
വളരെ ഫേമസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഫുഡ് റിലേറ്റഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ബ്രാൻഡ് ആണ് ഒട്ടുമിക്ക എന്താ പറയാ ഷോപ്പിംഗ് മാളിൽ പോയാലും ഒരു ബ്രാൻഡ് കാണാൻ പറ്റും എല്ലാവരും ഉണ്ട് നല്ല പറയുന്നത് ബട്ട് ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് അത് ട്രൈ ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല You are not allowed to say anything now. Anybody is trying to see your... Eh? No, try it. See is trying. Okay, you can write your answer then. Okay, uh, team A, try it. Okay, by this we will finish. Uh, let me check the answer. for 10 minutes as we announce the evaluation results.
A hearty congrats to all the winners. Before we begin, let's take a moment to come into prayer. I welcome Anubama for the prayer.
Now, I offer my heartfelt welcome to Ms. Stephanie Ma, an award-winning social worker, HOD of our BSW department. Your presence adds immense value to this event, and I wholeheartedly welcome you, ma'am. Now, I would like to welcome all the finalists and second finalists, participants, my colleagues and students to this program. Welcome you all. Thank you for, the, for being part of this special occasion and may the legacy of the National Business Quiz Competition inspire us to strive for excellence in our academic pursuits. Once again, a warm welcome to each and every one of you. Thank you. Now I invite Principal Sister Ma Namida Rose for presidential speech. <laughs> ഇപ്പൊല്ലാജുകളിലും നമ്മള് ക്വിസ്സുകൾ സംഘടിപ്പിക്കുന്നു പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് വിവിധ വിഷയങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ക്വിസ് പരിപാടികൾ പിന്നെ ഫെസ്റ്റുകൾ ഇതൊക്കെ പരസ്പര സൗഹൃദം പങ്കുവയ്ക്കാനും നമ്മുടെ കഴിവുകൾ വിലയിരുത്തപ്പെടാനും ഒക്കെയുള്ള നല്ല അവസരങ്ങളാണ് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് ക്വിസ് മത്സരങ്ങളിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾ വരുമ്പോൾ പങ്കെടുക്കുന്നവർക്ക് അതിനുള്ള കഴിവുണ്ടായിരിക്കണം അതിനുവേണ്ടി ഒരുങ്ങുന്നു ഒപ്പം കാണികളായിട്ടിരിക്കുന്നവരെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം കുറേയേറെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ സാധിക്കും അങ്ങനൊരു നല്ല അവസരം കൂടിയാണ് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് നമ്മളിന്നിവിടെ നടത്തിയ ബിസിനസ് മാനേജ്മെന്റിനെ കുറിച്ച് ബിസിനസ് മേഖലകളെ കുറിച്ചുമുള്ള ക്വിസ് അത് പല റൗണ്ടുകളിലായിട്ടാണ് ഇന്നിവിടെ ഫൈനൽ റൗണ്ടിൽ എത്തിയിരിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലെ അതിന്റെ ഒരു പ്രിലിമിനറി ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അപ്പൊ കുറെ പേരൊക്കെ ലിമിനേറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പോയി അതിനുശേഷം സെമി ഫൈനല് പിന്നെ ഫൈനൽ റൗണ്ട് അങ്ങനെ വിജയിച്ച് എത്തിയിരിക്കുന്നവരാണ് നമ്മൾ മുമ്പിൽ ഇരിക്കുന്ന വിജയികൾ ആദ്യം തന്നെ അവർക്ക് എല്ലാവിധ വിജയങ്ങളും ഞാൻ ആശംസിക്കുകയാണ് പല കലാലയങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും നമ്മുടെ കലാലയത്തിലേക്ക് കുട്ടികൾ എത്തുന്നു അതുപോലെ നമ്മുടെ പല സ്ഥലങ്ങളിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നു അപ്പൊ ഇവിടെ വിജയിക്കുക എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് വലിയൊരു കാര്യമാണ് എന്തായാലും വിജയം നേടിയ പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളെ അഭിനന്ദിക്കുന്നതോടൊപ്പം ഇതിൽ പങ്കെടുത്ത് ഇത് വിജയിപ്പിച്ച ഓരോരുത്തരെയും അഭിനന്ദിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എന്റെ വാക്കൽ ചുരുക്കുകയാണ് ഒപ്പം ഈ ഇങ്ങനെ ഒരു ക്വിസ് സംഘടിപ്പിക്കാനായിട്ട് മുൻകൈ എടുത്ത കുറച്ച് ദിവസമായി അതിന് വേണ്ട ഒരുക്കങ്ങൾ തുടങ്ങിയിട്ട് നമ്മുടെ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റിലും അതിനോട് അവരുടെ ടീച്ചേഴ്സിനും പിന്നെ അതിനായിട്ട് വളരെ പരിശ്രമിച്ച വിദ്യാർത്ഥികൾക്കും എല്ലാ ആശംസകളും നേർന്നുകൊണ്ട് അവരുടെ വിജയിച്ചതിനെ സന്തോഷം അറിയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എൻ്റെ വാക്കുകൾ പ്രസംഗിക്കുന്നു നന്ദി we would like to present our guest with a small token of appreciation this token symbolizes our heartfelt thanks for your unwavering support and commitment please accept it as a humble gesture of our appreciation for all that you do i kindly invite our principal sister to hand over the token of gratitude i invite ms stephanie francis to receive the token of appreciation Mr. Mestil PC to receive the token of appreciation. Thank you. Now I invite Ms. Steffi Francis to the stage to deliver their speech. Respected Principal, uh, Mestin Sir, uh, Jasmine 
Ms. Head of the Department of Management Studies, student coordinator and my dear students and also dear participants. And um, it was a nice experience to meet the semi-finale round. Everyone very actively participated. We appreciate your efforts and support. Uh, and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Next, I invite Mr. Master PC for delivering this speech to the stage. Respected principal and honor, all the faculties, coordinators and all, and all the students and contestants. Uh, as I already mentioned in the initial time of the quiz, uh, that quiz is just like an infotainment where you can uh, you can aim or get some information in an entertainment way. That is the purpose of the quiz. Uh, more than winning in the quiz, uh, you can get some information. That is objective, that is the aim of the quiz. And I hope uh, all the participants and the audience, all of you have aimed some information by this quiz. That is what my motivation, and that is what the reward for your time you spent here. And I uh, congratulate all the team who have reached the final and all the team who have attended in the brilliant semi-finals at all. And once again, congratulations for everybody. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So now it's time for the prize announcement. So I once again invite Mr. Meston PC to announce the prize. Our principal sister for the price distribution. Sister, Here I'm going to announce the prizes. First prize goes to Sahirdeya team. goes to imagine these pillars
third prize goes to Hocus Pocus. Pavelke Jodi, Maria Sajo. and Sri Lhmi P. to Mr. Mr. PC to the stage. For the participation certificate. So please. I would like to invite all the semi-final participants to receive their certificate. Jeevan S. Paul. Abhinav. Ria Moon. Devika. Christina. I kindly invite all winners to stay back for the group photo session. Let's come together as one big family and capture the spirit of joy, unity and achievement that defines this event. Please come to the stage. Congratulations to the winners and thank you for all participants for making this quiz competition a thrilling and memorable experience for all of us. Next, I invite Hiba Akbar, a student coordinator who had been a source of guidance and support throughout the program for delivering vote of thanks.
Good afternoon, to one and all. I stand before you with immense gratitude as we conclude our remarkable business news event. This endeavor would not have been possible without the collective effort and support from all of you. And I would like to express my heartfelt thanks. First of all, I would like to thank you to our principal, backbone of our college, backbone of our college, Sister Namida Rose for the great support. Thank you. Thank you to our brilliant participants who showcased their knowledge, strategic thinking, and framework throughout the competition. Your dedication has added a layer of excitement and intellectual vigor to this event, making it truly exceptional. Thank you. A special appreciation goes out to our generous sponsor, Jubi Rich, who played a pivotal role in making this event a reality. I would also like to acknowledge the hard work and commitment of our organizing team and the faculties of our department, management, management studies, planning, attention to details and tireless efforts ensure that every expert of the event ran smoothly. Without their dedication, we would not have experienced such a seamless and enjoyable competition. Thank you teachers and thank you team. I would like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed newsmaster, Mr. Mestin PC, the assistant professor of St. Thomas College, and Steffi Mann, the HOD of the Department of Social Work, for their expertise throughout the event. Your role is evaluating and recognizing the participants' effort is valuable, and we appreciate the time and you dedicated to this event. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Also, last but not least, a big thank you to our audience. Your enthusiasm, encouragement, and lively engagement added vibrancy to the atmosphere, making the event all the more enjoyable for everyone involved. Thank you, guys. As we wrap up this successful business news, let's carry the spirit of learning and collaboration forward. Here is to the achievements of today and the promise of even days greater success in the future. Once again, thank you all for a great support. Thank you. Thank you, Hiba. As the business quiz come to a close, we want to extend our sincere appreciation to all participants, organizers, sponsors, and Jubi Rich and attendees who made this event a resounding success. Your enthusiasm, knowledge, and sportsmanship truly makes this event memorable. To our participants, your dedication, quick thinking, and passion for learning has been commendable. Whether you emerge as winners or not, your participation has added immense value to the competition, and we applaud your efforts. Thank you once again to everyone who has contributed to the success of this business quiz. Until we meet again, let's continue to learn, grow, and celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation. Thank you.